Hey everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my holiday pretzel M&M bites. These are very, very easy to make. They take little to no time, and all you need are these three ingredients right here. So I have my regular Hers Hershey Kisses. You can get any flavor Hershey Kisses that you would like. I have my green and red M&Ms and my square pretzels. Now for this recipe, you do need the square pretzels. You can't just have any type of pretzel because it won't really work that well. So I'm gonna show you what I'm going to be doing to prep for making these. Okay, so what you wanna go ahead and do is line all the pretzels on a flat baking sheet and then open up all the Hershey Kisses and place them on top of all the pretzels. And I lied, I guess I got the Hershey Kisses that are milk chocolate hugged by white cream and I didn't know that because I just assumed they were regular but I tried one and they're actually really good so I think these are going to turn out even better than just having the regular milk chocolate. So you want to go ahead and do this and then what you want to do as well is preheat your oven to the lowest setting it has. I have mine at 170, that's the lowest it will go. So then you're going to pop them in the oven and just kind of keep an eye on them until they start to melt a little bit. It's only going to take probably, you know, a minute or two. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I had to test one real quick, but it takes about five to six minutes on the setting of 170 degrees. So now that they are done, you just want to do what I did at the, on that one is just take, an, take one M&M, &M, place it on top and then just kind of smush it down like that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you really want to work pretty quickly while doing this before the Hershey Kisses tend to harden up. So yeah, all you do is take one M&M, place it on top, smush it down just a little bit, and that's it. And I honestly think that the peanut M&Ms might taste a little better if you're into nuts and stuff, but this year I can't have the peanut ones because I have my braces, so technically I'm not supposed to have any kind of nuts, but but yeah, um, once you're done then, um, you could pop them in the fridge for them to harden faster, or you can just leave them sit out. I'm going to leave mine sit out because I'm not really in a rush, and so yeah, and I'm baking these like a couple days in advance for me going to my family's, so... Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and please subscribe for more relatable content, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.